Good morning, dear parishioners and friends, and welcome to our weekly segment of Coffee with Monsignor Jerry. I hope you have your favorite beverage, your favorite coffee mug, or whichever you use for your favorite beverage, and uh, welcome to our time. So enjoy your drink and coffee, and as you're in your significant prayer place, let us think about how we can be thankful in, in this week. So enjoy. Now you probably remember the gospel from last weekend. It's the uh, 34th week that we're celebrating in ordinary time, but Sunday we celebrated the solemnity of Jesus Christ, King of the universe. And in that gospel, it was the final judgment when Jesus was talking about the sheep and the goats being separated and people calling, being called into the kingdom for the goodness that they did. And a, a wonderful a reminder for all of us that the kingdom of God is more present every time we do works of charity, so keep that in mind. Also, this coming weekend, we're going to be celebrating the first Sunday of Advent, and we're going to be listening to words and the theme of being hopeful in the next few weeks. So keep that in mind. Now, we start out with the gospel from St. Mark, chapter 13, 33 to 37, so you might want to take a chance and look at that. So. We always remember Psalm 46, number one, verse one. God is our strength and our refuge. He will never abandon his people. He's ever present for us in time of trouble. So keep that in mind as we continue our journey through the COVID-19 and all of the struggles that we have to face. So we wanna to continue to look for words of encouragement, but especially this week, because it's Thanksgiving tomorrow, we wanna to be very, very, thankful for what God has given us. How do we find out what we should do with this? Let's look at the scriptures. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time for us to be in line with the Lord, to be so gracious for all of the things that he gives us. So in the time of trouble, in the time of strife, which we've been going through, in the time of anxiety, we know there's hope, but with hope comes thanksgiving. So let's look at these possible Thanksgiving scripture segments. Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Colossians 3, verse 15. Psalm 95, verses 1 to 3. Psalm 28, verse 7. And Psalm 9, verse 1. And you've probably noticed as we've been going through these weekly segments and the different scripture segments, how many times the Psalms, which maybe we don't read a lot, but we do pray in the uh, prayer of the church, the Lexio Divina, how many times so many different themes that touch our lives are present. So Thessalonians in the, Old, in the New Testament, uh, this message is rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Give thanks in all circumstances. Seems difficult, doesn't it? Awesome challenge easy to give thanks when everything's fine, right? We're all so understanding of that. Awesome faith takes real effort when we give thanks when things are not so good. And we've been suffering with that, haven't we? We've been challenged by that over the whole year. But we will continue to give thanks in all circumstances because God really loves us. He will not abandon us. In Colossians in the New Testament, in the chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 15, it's the peace of Christ must control your hearts, a peace in which you were called in one body and be thankful people. So it really means whatever God gives us, we can handle. Whatever God gives us, we can handle. He knows us. He loves us. He cares for us. He would never lead us or abandon us, never lead us astray or abandon us. So we continue to be faithful to that message. Psalm 95, verses 1 and 3, let's come before the Lord with thanks. Let's shout songs of joy to him. Personally, I'm not going to be singing any shouting out of songs, because you know what that would do? It would be scary. However, the Lord is our great God, our great King over all the earth. God is good to us all the time. We might not see it, we might miss it, we might not like it, but God truly is good to us all the time. The Psalms give us that message. Psalm 28, verse 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts Him. I was helped. My heart rejoiced, and I thank Him with my song. So we trust in the Lord 
He knows our needs. He will take care of us. The theme is so consistent, isn't it? Thankfulness is so important. Psalm 9, verse 1, I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. I will talk about all your wonderful acts. This means we should show how grateful we are to God with all of our mind, body, and spirit. We trust him and show our thanks. So it's going to be Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow. All this week we've been, certainly been preparing for that. And this year it's a different kind of Thanksgiving, isn't it? Our world is kind of in turmoil. We're being hopeful for this vaccine that will come out that will help us. But in the meantime, we still want to give thanks. And we can do it in a lot of different ways, can't we? Giving thanks, the Eucharist, means thanksgiving, doesn't it? How wonderful it is that Jesus gives us the Eucharist, that we can be so thankful and gather uh, together with him, sometimes just virtually, other times face to face. So let's continue to be so absolutely thankful for whatever God sends us. Be thankful in all circumstances. So I hope you have a wonderful time of Thanksgiving, however you will join with your family and friends. Let's do our best to be absolutely safe and careful in all that we do. So God bless you for that. And a little, let's see what God Speaks has to say for us this week. All right, just randomly we'll open this up. Ah, look at this for the coming days. I'm also making a list and checking it twice. Whoa, that's going to be good news for us, isn't it? We want to be on the good list. And our faith, our celebration of scripture, our celebration of prayer, it helps us to be making God's kingdom come alive. So please keep that in mind. And how about now bowing your heads for the Lord's blessing. Gracious, faithful God, your people come to you this week, especially knowing that you are the king of the universe. You give us judgment, you give us peace, you give us strength. Help us to understand your tremendous love for us. Help us to be your thankful people in all circumstances. And bless everyone now, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So have a wonderful week. Hope to see you next week. God bless.